Hello everybody, Defledge3004 here. So, um, today I thought that I would do a little bit of a tutorial on Space Engineers and installing the mods um, in that game. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Space Engineers, launch team of course, go to Space Engineers, and scroll down to where it says Steam Workshop, and then browse the workshop. Now, once you get inside the workshop, there are several things that you kind of um, need to know. And that's, um, there's a whole bunch of things here. Oh, obsolete, never seen that before. Um, there's blocks and skybox, which are the background. So the skyboxes are all of these that show different backgrounds, you could say. Anything from the original one that they had way back when they launched the game to anything that you might want to imagine. So, you know, like Star Trek had their thing in the background of like the stars or the planets or whatever. That's all that is. It just just shows what... It's just a sky box. It's sort of sky. Um, so, the, um, I am going to actually be doing it this way. What I'm going to do is, ARC didn't have this, but Space Engineers does. So, you're going to click on this down arrow where it says None Specified. And there's World, Mod, Blueprint, In-Game Script, and Scenario. A scenario is a playable thing like, you know, you have a quest to do or whatever. You can make ships and deliver them to somebody and stuff like that. There are scenarios in the game you can do, a couple of them, two or three. Um, In-game script is scripting for the programmable block. I don't understand it, so I'm not going to go there. The blueprints are... Any of these things are a blueprint. The ships, space stations, all kinds of things are blueprints. Anything from Star Trek ships and Star Wars ships to... Um, ones that people have made. I've made one and a couple of them and put them on the Steam Workshop. Cars. And, you know, you can do airplanes and helicopters and here's a Dodge Charger, 69 Dodge Charger hazards from the Dukes of Hazard. Um, so, you know, there's all kinds of different ones that you can do. Anything from something little, a space station, you know, that's not little, but something like this little cube here or a space station or whatever you want to do. So... Um, yeah, anything that you make, you can make a blueprint of any ships that you make and you can put them on the workshop or you can also save them in the, and I'll show you that when we get into the game here pretty soon. And worlds are, they're kind of almost the same thing, but they're more like worlds, I guess. I don't know really how to explain it, but they're different. They're almost like scenarios, sort of, but you can, you know, kind of like the star system and... Some of the other things that you can do in the game, Easy Star Earth, stuff like that, those are all worlds. And so this is, you know, kind of like the same thing, but a little bit different. Not by much, but just a little bit. So, um, but the thing we're going to focus on is the mods. So, once you get to the mods, I will always go to the most popular, and I always go to most recent. And then this shows, like, the most recent mods that have been uploaded. And something to know about the mods is um, there's a lot of them. I mean, there are, I have it on 30 per page, and there's 413 pages. By comparison, if I go to Blueprints, um, I have it on 30 per page, and there's 1,000 pages. So you can see there's a lot of Blueprints. There's a lot of mods, but there's way more many Blueprints. So, um, way more many, whatever. Um, so, yeah, way a lot of blueprints. So, um, but this one has, like, different cockpits and um, conveyors and machines and all kinds of stuff that you can build in here. Ships and any, all kinds of stuff. Ships and just various things. I mean, you can um, have asteroids and skyboxes, and the mods are the modifications, of course. So, um, something that I try not to do is go to ones that don't have pictures. For the most part, I do have some that don't have pictures, but most of them do. And so, you know, I mean, you guys can do whatever you want to. I just don't, because a lot of these are like, okay, Bob, what's 
Bob. There is no description. You click on it, there's nothing. It's like, okay, what's Bob? I try to avoid these because I have no idea antennas. What, what, what? what? How big are they? How long are they? Are they the small ones or the big ones? I, I avoid a lot of these because I can't tell what they are. So... Um, some of these will work on servers, some will work on single player, some won't work on your game, some of them will, so just so you guys know. So what I thought I would do is show you guys some of my favorite mods here. So I'm just going to go to my um, subscribed items, and we'll go to my favorites, but not all of them are favorited. So there are all kinds of ones that I have, so um, um, subscribe to I'm going to go to 30 a page so there's like 11 pages now and I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to um, show you guys some of my favorite ones so here's one called S Hanger Door and it's a DirectX 11 mod um, it was a 9 but I believe they updated it updated it to um, 11 and basically the doors are th up to 32 blocks long. I don't remember what the original size of the doors were, but I think they were like eight blocks tops long or whatever. They extend out like a total of eight blocks from this base right here. Sorry about that. From this base right here to, um, well, you can see right here this base, all, all these bases, and then this is the next picture when they're all extended out. And you can see from way up, I really got to quit doing that. There we go. There's a big, bigger picture. You can see how big they are going 32 blocks up. So, um, yeah, I think 8 was like the maximum size for like the vanilla game. So, if you have a huge ship you're working on and stuff like that, this is what it will look like in the game. So, you can see that they're all going to be kind of all together. And so, this is the s Hanger Door mod that I like a lot. For being on a server, um, if you have any friends that are on a server or whatever, here's restore player inventory. And basically, when you are in a game and let's say that um, you, you get off for whatever reason, you just got done like running down a ship or whatever, and you have a bunch of stuff in your inventory, but you don't have time to put it all away because you really need to get off and, you know, it's going to take some time to do whatever. So you just log off wherever you are, your ship or whatever. When you log back on, anything that you had in your inventory without this, you will lose. Unless you put it into your car cargo containers and stuff like that. So this is a really good mod to have. It really helps out a lot. And for those of you who are like kind of wondering... Um, servers need to have these on there if you want to keep your stuff because like i said sometimes you're in a, you know you have something come up and you have to get off like now or you know the game crashes this your power goes out whatever you lose whatever you had on you so this is a really good one to have Here's another one. This one is the telescope. It's just like the camera, and you can see stuff for quite a ways away like, um, on the camera. But this one extends in quite a long way. Now, everybody, not everybody, but there are certain modders that you kind of look for. And like Darth Biomech, he makes some really good stuff, or they make some really good stuff. And so um, you can see, you know, they're always, you know, having pictures or whatever. And they... Um, will do things they'll make a lot of mods and this is just like the camera but it has a zoom on it, it goes really far in so this is a good one here's one called interior doors and um you can see it's clear so you can see something on the other side the normal game um these doors that are on the sh on the bases and stuff are normally solid like star trek and stuff like that you cannot see through them and these ones are not so you can see through and you can you know see what's on the other side without having to go through them and go not that room not that room okay there we go that's the room i want so or you can also label the rooms but we'll get into that later this is a good one right here, this accessible conveyors, because you can take stuff from one thing to another and move it. It was broken for a little bit, but they got it fixed. So this one is a, um, you can just grab things from another cargo container or whatever, put them on your inventory or just move them to another place. And they're really good. I enjoy this one. This TVSI interior glass. 
So you can paint these edges. You can see they're normally like gray or white, but these are painted like the purple and you can make it whatever color you want to. And um, one thing to always do is make sure you read every mod that you're looking into. Make sure you open it up like I did here and you read about what it says in here. If it works on large ships, small ships, this one's for large ships and stations, so it won't work on small ships, but you can color them, and they're survival ready, meaning they're not just for creative mode, they're also in, in um, survival mode. Build states means that, you know, they are, they look like a frame, and then you upgrade them to different, you know, states as you have the materials on you, and you weld them and stuff like that. Um, the collision mesh works and they mirror correctly and you know you just need to read on this you know and read all this other stuff that shows all that make sure you know what you're getting yourself into make sure they work on, on your game or you know whatever because some of them will some of them won't this is one that I like a lot this is Axelon's custom parts mainly for this little thruster right here because I like to put them on my little ships when I'm going inside a big ship that I've just taken over and it's really fun to you know build build one but these thrusters here are stick out a little too much and you get stuck in a lot of like little hallways and stuff whereas these ones are small enough and still a little bit strong enough to get you around Plus, they also have the medium thrusters and the extra large thrusters. In the vanilla game, there's only the small ones and the, the large ones, and there are no medium ones. So I like using this one for the medium and that really small one, and sometimes the extra large ones, depending on the power I want. Now, this is only ion thrusters. I don't, they don't have, as far as I know, like um, atmospheric thrusters or hydrogen thrusters. These are ion, and they take platinum, which I have never found on the planets. It may be there. I just haven't never found it. But these are ion thrusters, so this is a really good mod. This Axelon's custom parts. Uh, speed mod. Speed mod is good because you can only go 99.9 .9 mile uh, meters per second. So it takes a long time to get anywhere. And with the speed mod, be careful about what you get. And make sure it says, you know, cause some of them are only for your suit, some are only for large ships, some are for everything. Just make sure that you read it and, you know, make sure. Um, I would recommend no more than 500 meters per second because trying to stop when you go on 1,000 meters per second or 5,000, whatever the mod is, is really, really hard to do. So just, you know, try to choose a lower speed mod until you can get used to the game and you know what you're doing and stuff like that. You know, 400 is relatively fast. It's really fast when you're in the game and stuff and you see an asteroid coming in, you know you're not going to stop. So I always try to choose one that's not quite super fast. Um, there are cargo ship mods, a lot of cargo ship mods. I go through and I check them out. I look at them, see what they do and stuff like that. Some of them will have um, things where they say, you know, this mod will overwrite all of the other mods that are in the game and stuff like that. So beware of that. If it says N N O or, or no overwrites, then it will not overwrite like the base um, vanilla ships that will spawn and stuff like that these ones all be custom built these ones all be different and stuff the ones in the game are all, all look generically the same they're always blue and white these ones can be many different colors and you can see that there's quite a bit of uh, size and variety i like the teeth on that that's cool but yeah there's a bunch of different ones most of them will be this blue scheme with some white and stuff but you can see there's some interesting ones here so i really like that a lot this is probably a base so, yeah, I've really enjoyed a lot of cargo ship mods. Just be aware of what you get. And there's always a file size associated with a lot of these. So, once again, if you want the game to take a long time loading, get the bigger bigger ones. But, you know, if you want it to load quickly, try to choose smaller ones. It'll load fairly quickly depending on your computer speed and all that stuff. Um, I also, you know, try to watch out for ones that don't have pictures again because you can't tell what you're really getting. There are furniture mods, so you can get, you know, like couches and chairs and showers and sinks and uh, toilets and stuff. I mean, you don't obviously go to the bathroom, but you can, you know, you can have like right here a pool table and a TV 
and you know a cabinet you can see like the the showers and the stalls and all this kind of stuff these are all things that you can put in the game use a computer a console and stuff like that i think that's really cool you know so you can really customize and make it feel like it's your home you know um the weapons if you're not close you might get blown out of the sky so a weapon mod might be good for you um, I might choose a times three that way I can get close enough that they can't shoot me but I can shoot them I know it may be a little bit cheating but it works and sometimes they do see you if you happen to get a little too close um airlock blocks are what I have on my ship and these are the ones that one door closes before the other one opens so that way any oxygen on one side or the other doesn't escape and you can keep your your air your area pressurized and all that kind of stuff excuse me so you can see that you know you can color them and stuff like that and there's ones with windows and ones without because you can see the two ones right here so this is a good mod i like this one a lot if you're on the planet the atmospheric power thrusters are really good because they're stronger than the normal atmospheric thrusters and this is a really good one to use just make sure that you look to see because some mods are not supported anymore or they've been updated or you know all kinds of stuff like that and i'll probably find some that will you know show you guys some of that stuff here's a cargo ship mod with no overwrites meaning that this original one this rs rough skies had an overwrite where it would overwrite all the regular ships that would spawn so um, yeah, this, this one's a lot better because it will not take over and just have only their ship spawn. One thing to look for if you're going to get something that was like, replaces something, um, make sure that you get that when you know what you're getting. This one is non-replacement old conveyors. They have old conveyors. This is the, what they used to be like with like the glass and stuff in them and um but this one will not replace any of the new ones that they have in the game whereas some of these other ones will so you know just be cautious of that if that's what you are not looking for or if that's what you are looking for look for certain ones and make sure like i said to read um for those of you interested the uh, old inertia dampener not inertial but inertia dampeners this will slow you down like they used to when the game first came out so this is a really good mod to use some of these will be like direct x9 and 11 so make sure that you do look at that and um make sure that it says both or one or the other depending on what you're using DirectX 9 or direct x11 depending on your computer and what you have and what you've updated to This is a really good one right here, this DK Cargo Overhaul. DK makes some pretty good stuff. One of the main reasons I like this one is for this medium um, cargo container right here. This is a really good cargo container because in the game you only have the small ones and the large ones for the large ships. There are no medium ones for the large ships. The, the um, small ships already have the small, the medium ones in there, but they look more like these right here. But um, yeah, this is small ship and large ship variants, small and large. And there's also other stuff in the game like tables and stuff like that. There's some, you know, or in this mod. I mean, there's some interesting stuff in here. But mainly it's for these uh, medium cargo containers that I got this for because I really wanted something like that. And they stack and stuff like that. You see them on my, uh, on the my ship server and you can go check that off. If you haven't seen that on my ship video, sorry about that. Um, you can check it out. It's, it's really cool. So, um, it's a, it's a good mod. Here's one that says discontinued. So um, this is a discontinued one that I, I have still subscribed to, which means uh, if you want any support, I will see it says I will no longer work on this mod. If somebody wants to continue making updates for this mod, let me know. Basically, you will not continue any support for it. So it will not be updated to the newer versions and stuff like that. So it might look really funny. So... Um, if you see ones that say discontinued or deprecated or whatever, um, user be warned, you were warned before you put it in that it may not work right. Here's a mess hall pack that this guy made. This is dead tech. And, well, you can see it has, like, all the mess hall stuff. And there's, 
you know, um, seats and all the cooking stuff. None of it really works. I mean, you can sit down and stuff, but you can't really use these items too much. They're just there for looks and stuff. But I think it's still pretty cool, though. This is one of my favorite mods, a small ship mega mod pack. So this one has um, jump drives for like small ships, which means that these only work on the large ships. So that's one of the problems with the jump drives. They only work on large ships. And so the, if you want to go somewhere, you kind of got to use a large ship if you're not using any mods. Um, there's like um, medical units which are only for large ships. All of these are for large ships, but they made them for small ships. So that's a really cool thing. I do enjoy that a lot. Um, assemblers and refineries and stuff like that. These are all for the large ships, but they made them for small. So I think that's really cool. And there's a lot of stuff in here that you can use and stuff. There are also large ones. So, you know, you can, you can use these. And um, it's just... You know, the they are the s small variants of the of the regular size vanilla ones in the game. But you can see there's like 53 of these things in here, so or 53 different, because some of them have you know um more than one thing in them. So I think that's really cool. Um, so going back to the um whole thing of looking at these always do make sure that you open up each and every one of them that you're looking at and make sure that they'll work and that you see if they work on what you want large grid small grid sh ships stations some things are only with ships some things are only with stations some only work on small ships etc 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 some will not work on single player some will some will only be for servers, etc. So you just need to make sure that you look through all this stuff really good. And you can subscribe to as many as you want to. And again, like ARC, you just go to subscribe. And then you um, you can also favorite them. And once you get them subscribed, they will be in here. And you can install any of them into your game. So I'm going to go back to my games. And I'm going to come back into here. And um, you can see I have a lot of subscribed items. But also you can just look through here and you can see... Like, here are just three or so, you know, there was only three random items that people have uploaded. And they just kind of, these are the spotlights. And, you know, like I said, I, I try to just go to the mods because, you know, other things, there's a lot of other stuff in here. And you can spend hours doing this. I try to look as often as I can, uh, within reason, of course. But I always try to, you know, make sure that I keep up on these because there's some really cool stuff. Some of these are really cool. Some of them are not as good. But, you know, it depends on what on what you want or what I want. You know, we have two different ideas of what is good. So, um, you know, so there's um ones that will have, you know like flags or icons or whatever and ones will have pictures of things and sound blocks and which basically that sound you can hear sound on your ship music or the swooshing of doors or stuff like that that you can hear besides you know other things um there's handrails and there there are all kinds of things there are letters that you can put on your um balloons okay there's letters you can put on your stations and stuff like that so you can you know have your stations you know say you know the fudge 3004 station or whatever you want to do so um and see here's another restore in player inventory of first respawn and stuff like that so um there's weapon mods and there is so many mods you can spend hours in here and really not do much of anything you see some of these um some of these work fine but they will mess with other things so you know try them out if you don't like them take them off all you gotta do is unsubscribe you can also subscribe from them here just click on the green plus button and you will subscribe to them once you do that then they are ready to go into the game so um as you can see it's actually pretty straightforward and if you want if you're interested in doing you know any of the worlds the blueprints feel free to you know is all you got to do is unsubscribe if you don't want them it's really not that big of a deal so and you learn the different names okay i does a lot of stuff and dk and uh Secton and stuff like that they you recognize some of these names after a while so um 
I don't really have much with this other than I just wanted to say some of my favorite mods are the small ship mega mod pack, the telescope, um, there's a custom jump drive so you can have different sizes of um, jump drives on your ship and they'll work on large and small ships. Um, let me see if I can actually find that because I am subscribed to that. I didn't see it when I was looking through but I know it's in there, so um, I know it's one I I have subscribed to. Um, and custom jump drives mod pack right here, and it has a whole bunch of different sizes. Well, it has I guess three, one by one, two, two by one, three, two by one, and three, three by two. So those are, those are block sizes, so you can go from really small to you know medium size, and of their best work best work work best with a large reactor because they do take a while to charge and uh, they pull a lot of energy so just build a large reactor if you plan on using these you can have more than one you can have multiples of them but i don't think you can chain them together meaning like you can jump super long distances you can get mods to j jump super long distances though so like twenty one thousand kilometers and stuff like that's ridiculous but I just wanted to show you guys some of the mods and stuff like that. So um, next we'll be looking at um, installing them in the game. So I just wanted to let you guys know. So um, we'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so after you have gotten your game loaded of whatever game that you're going to, you know, your world or whatever that you're going to play, um, this is going to be the defudge. You're going to go to edit settings. And once you get to here, you are going to go to mods. And I will um, show you guys that here in just a second. Okay, so you're going to go to mods and you click on that. And whatever mods you want, you can subscribe to as many as you want to. That's not going to hurt anything at all. The problem is you may have a little bit of a hard time finding them because there's going to be a lot in here. And so um, something that I generally try to do is I will click on the bottom one. And then where that one is highlighted, I will just scroll up to it until I see it at the very top. And then I will just look through to see which ones I want to put on. So I'm going to go through here and I am going to find the mods that I want to put on. And I will show you guys how to do that. So um, as I'm looking through here, I'm kind of like seeing, I know what these mods are because I've worked with them for a long time. You guys may have to go through them and see if you're not sure. Click on one and go to open in the workshop. And it will bring up the mod in the workshop. So you can kind of see, oh, okay, that's that mod. Okay, that's cool. Um, I wish all games did that, but not all of them do. So, um... There's all kinds of different mods out there, like I have said. So you want to make sure I mean, there's kitchen mods, there's like mess hall, and you know, just all kinds of different ones. So I'm not going to do like any of the um, ones with the cargo ships and stuff like that for right now. But I am going to just go and uh, continue going down and see if I see anything that um, I really you know want to put in the game because I know I do and once I find them okay come back jump drives not quite but um okay here's one that I talked about was the um where DK if you're not sure what it is you can also look it up um in here and find it so let's go to DK and so you can see there's a bunch of DK stuff. I know the cargo overhaul one has the medium cargo container. So what I'm going to do is click on it. And then I can use these buttons here to put it in there. Now I can move all over or um, just one or the other. So I want to actually activate the mod. 
and once I do, then it's over there. And it will move it from this side to this side. Arc does not do that. It stays on this side, but also puts it on this side. So you're like, you have to scroll through and see which ones you have and compare and compare. And it's a pain in the rear end. Now, if you want a certain mod at the top, that's what these buttons are for. And if one is on the very bottom that must be on the top, you'll use this button right here, which will automatically move it to the very top. Okay, so let me get rid of this, and I'm going to find some of the other ones that I want. One of the ones that I want is the um, Small Ship Mega Mod Pack. Now, you can click that button, and you can also double-click it, and it will automatically move it over. So either way you want to do it, if you're unsure, you know, try both or whatever. You know, it's 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 all the same. Um... This one right here is good, except for you, no matter what you have for to keep your um, character hy hy hydrogen going, this one will negate that. So I wouldn't recommend recommend that one. This one is the same as this one, though maybe not quite as much, but it never stab it in there. So um, the offset vanilla doors is basically. The, the doors are generally in the middle of the block. So this offset means it puts it at the front or the back of the block, depending on how you um, set them. And so you just have to click through the different varieties using, you know, delete and end and the page down, page up, home and insert to put them in different positions. All the, all the normal doors will go right in the middle of the block, so you walk kind of into the doorway. So, um, offset vanilla doors are good if you want to have them at the front or the back. Another way to um, unsubscribe from a mod is actually to do it in here. So, I want to get rid of this one. So, I go to Open in Workshop, and this mod messes with a lot of stuff, as I said. So, I'm going to unfavorite it and uns unsubscribe from it. And then when I go back to here, it's still going to be in here until I hit, I hit refresh, and then it will be gone. So... Okay, so as you can see, I have several mods here, and you want to make sure it, it's on the active mod side. And if you know it's a uh, jump drive, then you can type in jump drives, and it will generally come up with all the jump drives that you have subscribed to. So um, you, you're done here, and you press OK. Now, if you exit the game or exit, you know, this, this screen, it's OK to go out of here. But if you exit the game, then you have to reload the mods until you install them in the game. So, um, just wanted to point that out to you guys. Now, under the settings, under the advanced, um, inventory size and all that stuff, there were a few things that I wanted to make sure that I did talk about a little bit. And, um... Enable tool shake was something that um, somebody mentioned to me and I didn't have that checked because the tools shake like crazy. And if you're trying to make a straight line right here, enable tool shake, if you're trying to make a straight line, it's almost impossible with this. And um, I will do I will do a little bit with this pretty soon, but um, it, it is really hard to work with if you're not used to it. Um, just be careful when you do all of these. This is only available for creator mode to enable enable copy and paste. Um, and so something to that you can do, but only when you are um, let me see setting up your game is and I'll go and show you real quick right now after I after I get this loaded um, I'll show you guys the mods and all that stuff and then I'm gonna start up a new game and I'm gonna show you some of the differences on like the asteroids and how, th how, how thick they are so I'm just gonna go ahead and load this and I'll be with you guys then Okay, so I am in the game now, and um, something to know is the more mods you have, the longer it's going to take to load. So, um, I am going to, um, you yeah, remember this is a dense um, asteroid 
um, shield and stuff. So I think um, this is A3 that I'm at right now, the asteroid. So what I'm gonna, gonna do is actually get into here. And if you guys remember correctly, um, I need to turn on my thrusters. I was um, going about 99.9 uh, meters per second when I had the vanilla um, um, speed on there. So something I wanted to show you guys real quick is, so as soon as I get to speed, I will show you guys. So right now I'm at 161 meters per second. I was only going 99.9 .9 meters per second. And you can see I'm not even going 400 meters a second. And you can see that the asteroids are actually flying by pretty quickly. And my speed is still increasing 200 meters per second. Yeah, things, can, things can happen really fast at this speed. So just beware of that when you guys get the speed mods. That the faster you go, the higher the chances of wrecking because as you can tell some of these asteroids are screaming by at a pretty good rate and so if you're actually trying to get to you know a safe place this may not be the thing for you or at least be very careful using it um so i'm gonna get attempt to slow down and something that kind of works too is get the the majority of your thrusters to help you slow down a lot faster. Now I have the old inertia dampeners and with the uh, new ones this is going to take quite a while to slow down because you could tell I wasn't slowing down very quick at all. So I'm going to find A3 which is that right over there or it should be. Um, yep right over there. So I'll put my cursor on it use all look down and let's get right back to that so I'll turn off the dampeners and I'm gonna go back to that so um, I just want to show you guys going really fast has its advantages but it's also very dangerous <coughs> And you can see I'm already doing over 100 meters per second pretty easily and I just barely have been going for what 10 seconds and I'm already going that fast so um oops meant to have them off not on um so yeah you can go really quick I'm already 14 kilometers away from it that's insane because at 99 meters a second it's going to take a little while to get away and a little while to get back. But, you know, going, and I wasn't even going 400 meters per second. I was not going that fast at all by comparison to what you can do if you get a 1,000 meters per second mod. It's ridiculously fast. You can see how quickly I'm actually going to A A3. I mean, that, those numbers are screaming by pretty quickly and... You know, again, these asteroids are actually going by at a pretty darn quick rate. That's just a unknown signal. But you can see they're moving pretty quickly. So you got to be really careful when you're using the speed mods because you can get yourself in a heap and a lot of trouble very quickly. Okay, so now that I've landed and gone back to my asteroid, um, if I um, press G, remember that everything was kind of organized and laid out really good, but you can see that there's a lot more stuff in here, here now. And so here's like Axelon's parts, and here's that small thruster that I was telling you about, the medium thruster, the large, extra large thruster. Um, here's the TVSI glass blocks. Here's the normal glass blocks plus TVSI right here. All of these ones. Um, so you can see there's actually is a jump drives mod pack which has the different size jump drives and stuff. So you can see that there's all kinds of different ones in here. Um, so you can see that things do change a lot and generally the ones with like the white outlines or whatever are going to be the other ones. Not always because that one doesn't have a white outline but I know that's, a, that's the airlock block. And so you can see there's all kinds of different stuff in here. So um, I just want to point that out to you guys that there will be a lot more stuff in your G menu to have to go through and stuff like that. So... 
Well, that's um, pretty much it for the mod tutorial. Just to show you guys how to install them and stuff, kind of what to look for. Remember to go to your G menu and you can see all the different changes and stuff. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, thank you for joining me here. Let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll be doing some more Space Engineers here real soon. I'm planning on doing some more videos on this and stuff. I really, really, really love this game. I have, like I said, 1,200 hours of my videos on it. So, alrighty. Well, I'm going to get back into my cryo chamber. And I'm going to go to sleep. And in my character. And I will talk to you guys at a later point in time.